Hello, my pretties. I want to do a quick um, reading for you guys. This reading is going to be in reference to um, a warning for the collective. Okay, a warning. Somebody could be. Somebody could be doing something, or maybe this could happen in the future. But I feel like this is like something that has been ongoing. Somebody could be doing something or starting an argument or something like that for attention. The um. For attention, but the intention behind this is to stress you out. It's something here about, you know, going back and forth and communicating with a person or whether you know them or you don't know them or whatever. This has to do a lot like trolling. Like I feel with this energy of home at the bottom of the deck, you okay. You know what I'm saying? Feeling good in your skin or just chilling. Like one of the main energies that the collective has been showcasing is peace, okay? Um, and somebody wants to like, or there are people who will want to bring their issues, their issues to you. You know what I mean? Um, I was just saying that um a comment section is like one of the weirdest places that you can be on the internet. When I decided to um, showcase myself doing this um, was when I started to pay attention to comments more. Not necessarily mine, others, okay? And I would see people showcasing something and there will be people who will pick out the um the stupidest thing really to be honest you know to cut that person down who's showcasing themselves and it really you know especially with me being an intuitive it really shows me where the that person is coming from i've never disliked anybody's video because I, I just will keep going i just will keep going i've never disliked the video um you know certain comments that people may have of you whether it be you know publicly or they say it to you or just whatever okay um has a lot to do with where they stand and also wanting to disrupt your peace or tear you down in whatever way um a lot of people you know would do this when they don't have what you have or when they're not bold enough to to do whatever that you're doing or whatever it doesn't only have to be that you're specifically showcasing something um this some of you guys could be in acts of service okay so you're going to be um experiencing hey <clears throat> And you're being told to, whether you're a nurse, because there's nurse energy here as well. Whether you're a nurse, somebody here could work at a home. I've been picking up um, that person a lot lately. Um, it, it, it's it, somebody want to get on your nerves or, you know, this is like unnecessary. They saying do not step off. Your chariot to throw tomatoes with these hoes, okay? Show me. They want you to stay goal-oriented and ambitious. And keep your eyes on your work. Okay, your apprenticeship, your apprenticeship, your mastery, what it is that you do, your skill. Okay, stay ambitious. Um, it's like people, people, people trying to look over something that they want you to persevere. But I feel like people maybe trying to look over something that you're doing with a fine tooth comb just to find an issue, just to find an issue. Show me with the eight of swords. What's that? Yeah. With the Five of Swords and the Eight of Swords, it's like specifically your family, okay? And I meant to say that from earlier. Specifically your family, your home base, your community. That's where a lot of this shit is coming from. It's to literally try to keep you stuck. 
you can showcase a hairstyle and somebody will say some something this this is what this sounds like oh well um I bet that person don't take, like, if you did a wig, I bet you that person don't take care of their real hair or some stupid shit like that. It, it really so feels like trolling and fishing for an issue and just looking for a problem. Somebody wants to take, these people want to take you out of your energy of peace. They don't like it and they want to have something to say about it. Yeah, they want to tire you out before you make it to a certain uh, level or somebody, uh, they want you to give up. They want you to give up. They, they literally saying, especially with you being in acts of service, like they literally saying that these are people who you could have helped. And see, with this energy of act of love and as is, this is the type of shit. Because uh, I read the descriptions for one of these things and they talked about like seeing someone for exactly who they are and taking off the rose colored glasses. And I told y'all before that... um. You know, I had a conversation with God and the message that I was given was sometimes you have to be um, judgmental, high vibrationally judgmental um, and take off your rose colored glasses and look at people for exactly who they are. Not that you have to say I'm better than you, but um, you have to assess whether you want to rub elbows with, with, with certain people. Okay. And then also another thing that I that that um comes to mind is if you know somebody or something like that and you befriend them or you're cool with them or you're dating them or whatever and you see them treat other people a certain way but they don't act that way towards you specifically um you should realize that you're not exempt. Another thing too, everybody doesn't everybody don't doesn't deserve your help. And I've I've, I've spoken to you guys about this before, and I say this with love. Um, you know, I don't mean no malice by this, but like, um. It was at one point in time, I, okay, so, sometimes people go through shit because they deserve it. Sometimes, sometimes, you may not think they deserve it. You may have known this person all your life. There's something here about rose-colored glasses. You may not think they deserve it or, or whatever the case is. Sometimes people do. And I see you um, helping people that kind of don't deserve to be helped here. And then, like, kind of like when they turn on you, or you know, they come come apart, become a part of this hate the collective coalition type energy. And it's like, yeah, you know, the signs were there. The signs were there about this person. Some of us um, that have pure hearts have a habit of seeing the good in people. Okay, and. That's not always good. You want to see um, a person as a whole and take into account all of their attributes, not just highlight the good ones, okay? Um, yeah. That's what I'll say. Some of you guys may have to leave friends, may have had to leave friends and family behind. A lot of you guys that I read for had to leave friends and family behind. People you've known all your life, maybe a lover you've been with for a long time, or whatever the case is. Um, because I see, show me this, please. This uh, this hate and shit. Yeah, it's the two of swords coming from um people that you know and the page of swords yeah oh let's do this like i see them oh let's do this we should say this and it's like uh, yeah it's a game that they playing that you don't have time for yeah you're the queen of cups here and the empress together and the nine of cups and you're living in this energy whether you're a male or female you're living in this energy very bold very beautiful creative 
somebody feels um content right now chilling at peace and that's what they're talking about maintaining your peace because people are gonna be weird show me it's like that somebody has a plan to troll you king of swords king of cups what is this somebody here could be a speaker or a music producer There's a person here. Show me this. What's that? Yeah. There's a person here. There's a person here who's upset that they can't stop you. There's, there's people here that's upset that they can't stop you. You're going to be handed some sort of hierophant status type energy, okay? And it's going to set you free from whatever this father swords was. Like, let's just say somebody trying to hold you in a certain neighborhood or hold you uh to a certain standard maybe they were saying during your name oh this is the the label that i've given you you must live in it blah 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 some way and somehow you've broken free from it with honor with honor either it was like retribu retribution or um um the clearance of your name um Move, being able to move away from these people, okay? If they're just like hometown people or whatever the case is. And, you know, being offered some sort of status, you know, with that hierophant being there. And then like being happy that you left. And then it's like the, you know, the crabs in the barrel from the bucket um, that you left back home with their bullhorn. You're still dead. <laughs> you know what I mean? And it's just like... Aries got this before. And it's just like, um, I can't hear you because I'm all the way up here. Somebody's upset that you got away. That you got away, you finished something, you're happy or you're away from them. The cycle of them doing whatever they were doing and it working is com complete. And now, I guess what the last stitch effort is, is to start drama. To cause issues with you. I feel like, yeah, somebody's working on it. They're working about they're working on trying to get back in your energy and stop you from this three of wands. There's there's a disruption of peace that these people want to work wanna want want to do. You have a person here that can't rub two nickels together to make a dime. And it feels like they might want to come in your energy or back in your energy. There could be some sort of communication that they want to have with you. This could even be telepathic communication, especially with the four swords here. I feel like this this person is taking notes on how to how to approach you. This is you with the six of wands. You see this energy of like how she's live, getting likes and all this other stuff like that. Now look at her at this computer, new message. Somebody is going to try to talk to you. They don't know what to say. This is, could be an old lover, but somebody's going to try to talk to you and like you don't want to hear from them like you don't want to hear nothing that they have to say and i feel like their um goal might be to either disturb your peace or get back in your energy um to disturb your peace so let's see what this message um what what could this message be some of you guys is going to be a message. And for others of y'all, it's trolling. Like I said. Boy, they ain't got no life. You were harassing you was the center of their world. Okay? And they've been finding it hard to harass you any longer. The message could be from uh, uh, Emperor Energy. It could be from an Aries. I'm, I'm telling y'all I got this in Aries. So either you or somebody involved could be an Aries. I have it in their chart somewhere. But um, what's this message? Um, it could be so, it's something about the Three of Swords. It could even be about betrayal. What's this message about? What's this message about? A king of wands. What is this message about? Doing something sneaky. Could be stealing, lying, or something like that. What What about? Working with other people. This is that same loser doing some evil shit. Could have even been working with a church group or some sort of coven group. 
to hail Steven or some stupid shit like that or doing something that has to do with uh, messing with your finances or something. This person's mother could have been involved. What is that? Is this an apology? What is that? What is this? This can even be something that has to do with like dream work or or like I said, when I remember when I mentioned telepathically earlier, like this person could be trying to like like download certain um send certain innuendo towards you. That's what it feel like. To try to take you off your throne and make you feel uncomfortable. That's what it feel like, especially with the seven of cups. It could be dream work. Think of me or uh I'm trying to remind you of me or some stupid shit. And it's just like, nobody cares. Seven of wands. Nobody cares. Seven of fucking wands. I really feel like these people are non-factors in your life. They you just don't care. They, they're, they're begging for you to, please. Please care. What kind of message would this be? Can't get you off my mind. Is what I'm hearing. Get you off my mind. What song is that, y'all? Can somebody put it in the comments? Because I'll be channeling it a lot, but I don't. That's the only song I know. Yeah, this person, whoever this is, they're going to slow you down um, bad. We just got to slow them down. Slow them down. Um, what's the message? What, 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 is this a reach out? What is this? This could be dreams, like I said. Clinging to the past. Oh, this person could be making you have dreams of them because they want you to think of the past. There are other people that are participating in this as well. This feels like dream work. They're upset with your with your breakthrough. Yeah, this feels like dream work. See that? Let's see what you could do. Um, people trying to haunt you. This is spiritual trolling, okay? Spiritual trolling, especially, all right? And it may, it may manifest in the physical as like... You know, them having something to say on your platform if you got it or whatever. If you have a platform or if you are any on any social media um thing. Let's see. Show me what they could do about these dreams. Because that's what it feel like. So, first of all, spiritually cleanse your home. And you could light a reversible candle. I have those. I have. I have it. You could listen to mantras while you're sleeping or play prayers while you're sleeping. What could they do to combat this energy? What could they do to combat this energy? Definitely spiritually cleanse your home. Show me. Somebody they can start with a P. Or a K. Or an A. St. Martha... Domination, taming difficult people and situations, destroy everything, like to destroy all negative influences in your environment. So yeah, this can have to do with um, someone trying to disrupt the energy in your home specifically. Um, and this is like to, to, to make you um, feel unwanted, unmotivated, un this, un that. Spirit of a hater. <laughs> Hi, John the Conqueror. Okay. Light for luck, power, strength, and to conquer over evil conditions. You could light that candle as well. You could like to destroy everything with the High John the Conqueror. That seems good. And then St. Christopher, safe travel and protection from accidents and sudden death. This feels like chaos magic that they're trying to send at you. Yoga, stretching, and breathing exercises. Okay. So um, get your body moving. And breathe just to stay at home in your body and stay grounded because they want they they could be trying to attack your root chakra even maybe Archangel Gabriel I was waiting for him to come out and um, pray to dismantle any voodoo dolls or effigies being used against you um, and then also Archangel Gabriel work, working with um, him he's resides over communication visions downloads revelations messages and dreams so i told you this is like dream attacks 
Pray to break any and all contracts of the enemy. Cursed item. Refrain from accepting gifts at this time and dispose of anything suspicious. Somebody may have gave, given you something cursed and you put it in your home. And that could be something that have like a spirit attached to it or some shit like that. Make sure you cleanse your house. You can get the house cleansing bundle or you can um, speak to me. You can send me an email. Look in the description box but um, for my email. But um, I can make a custom bundle for you with these candles and energies that I'm speaking of. Also, get an arc you can light an Archangel Michael candle. This feels like dream invasion by way of either having, you know, intercourse with somebody, you know, from the past um, or in the past. And um, or also receiving an item that may be cursed. They they do they using the doll and some more shit. You could get my um dismantle voodoo dolls and effigies candle as well, but they just want you to um also see the person as is. Cause one of the things that I feel like they may be trying to do is to make you homesick, homesick for the bullshit that they have already done put you through. Okay. A lot of um, us, people that chose to walk the path, walk a specific path for, path for source, right? A lot of us on our journeys had to let people go, okay? Um, people that we have grown up with, loved, and yada, 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 okay? Um, it's like these people are wanting you to double back. Oh, aren't you lonely? Like you could have dreams of like people from your past just popping up and showing up. And it's like, I just... maintain, okay, your stance and stand behind who you know for these people to be, okay? They're still those same people. And this is a lot of manipulation. And it is like to like pull you back. They're desperate as hell. <laughs> Word, desperate as hell right now. Okay, so I hope that helped. 